Hi everyone, it's Tanya Tracy with Flow Physical Therapy and Pilates in Asheville, North Carolina. And I'm back again after vacation with some more feature area Fridays. What I wanna do over the next couple weeks is show just some of my favorite basic Pilates exercises that I feel most people can do pretty safely. Um, so today, what I wanna start out with is one that incorporates a lot of abdominal work and it's very functional abdominal work, and it's called the roll-up. What I'm gonna show you today is kind of the two beginner versions of it, and how you tie those two beginner versions together so that you can do the full roll-up as the muscles get stronger. So as always, if you have any current injuries, especially neck injuries, back injuries, hip injuries, please, check with your healthcare provider first before doing these. Um, or if you have any questions as to whether or not it is something for you, talk to your healthcare provider. So, for roll-ups, it's going to be on the ground. So a full roll-up, you normally have your legs straight and your arms straight to start out with. I'm going to show you kind of like the pre-roll-up version, which is really just like a chest lift. So. When you're doing this, you're going to lay on your back. Starting version is knees bent to make it harder. You can have your legs go straight. But I'm going to show you knees bent first. You can start with arms overhead when you do this one. So you're going to engage or tighten those lower abdominal muscles and you're actually going to flatten or imprint your back. So if you can see this, I'm tilting my pelvis back or I'm lengthening my low back to press it into the mat for this one. So I'm going to inhale the arms up, reaching. Palms can be facing each other. I'm going to lightly tuck my chin and I'm going to exhale as I lift up, feeling like I'm curling one vertebrae or peeling one vertebrae at a time up off the mat and then back down. So I'm going to show you again. I'm going to get my hair out of the way. So inhale, tuck the chin, exhale to lift, pause right here, inhale and exhale, roll it back down all the way with arms overhead. As you're doing this, you want to keep your shoulders down, not shrugged, so that when you come up, your shoulders stay still with space between your neck and you're not shrugging to reach. So the reach comes from your abdominal muscles pulling and then back down. So that's the first version of it, and then we're going to reverse and work on the other direction of it. So sitting up nice and tall, you can either sit with your legs straight if you can keep your back straight. If you go straight with your legs here and it pulls your low back into a slump to where you're kind of sitting near your tailbone and not right on those ischial tuberosities or your sits bones, then you bend your knees a little bit so that your back can be nice and straight. So we should be sitting right on those bones called your ischial tuberosities. So when you do this, you can either have legs straight or knees bent, or if your abs are a little bit more weak, you can have them a little bit more bent. When you do this one, you start nice and tall, inhaling, feeling like you're lengthening through the top of your head. And on the exhale, you're going to Scoop your lower abdominals, tilt that pelvis back, and start rolling down, placing tailbone, then sacrum, then just the very top of the low back, and then use your fingers to climb yourself back up to tall. So inhaling, sitting tall, exhaling, scooping those abdominals out to put your tailbone, sacrum, and low back. Pause, you can even go a little deeper in that scoop. Inhale, and then exhale to sit up tall. 
So this is working at both ends of the roll up so the beginners can work on that two different spots where it gets a little bit tough. Once those become easy, so you start with five to 10 repetitions, once those feel pretty easy, you can see if you can tie the whole thing together. One caveat, when you are rolling down, if you feel like there's a lot of tension in your hips, let your knees flop out and the soles of your feet touch to kind of this diamond leg shape to turn off those hip flexors a little bit. So these muscles at the front of the hips will try and help your abs do the work. So what that would then look like instead, again, nice inhale, tucking that low back, rolling down, trying to keep those knees out, pausing, inhale, and coming back up. So those are both ends of the roll up. So the full roll up, you're going to have your legs straight. My ends of my arms and legs are going to be cut off so you can see this, but full roll up, arms and legs are out straight. With your abs, you're gonna tuck and try and flatten your low back. Inhale, tuck the chin. Exhale, rolling all the way up, stacking one vertebrae at a time and sitting up. Inhale, exhale, roll that low back down. Each vertebrae on the mat till shoulder blades come down, arms back overhead. Inhale, tuck the chin. Sitting up to toe. Exhale, rolling it back down one vertebrae at a time. So same thing, five to 10 repetitions. So that is the roll up. And that's the way you can start it out if you've never done it before and play around with it, engage it a little bit. Same thing with that full roll up. If you start feeling the fronts of your hips doing more of the work, do that diamond leg shape so that you're turning off those hip flexors. The other thing you wanna be careful with, with both of these, is that when you roll up, you don't do the arm fling, which is a quick flick up. It should be a nice control lift, not a fling of the arms. When the arms are flinging, it means you're using your arm momentum to help your abdominals. So it's not really your abdominals doing the work, it's momentum coming along. So nice, slow, and controlled when you're doing these to really focus on that core. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you try it out and enjoy it. And if this is something that speaks to you, please like it, share it, comment on it, um, all those great social media things. And um, I will see you all next week with a new one.